SJC 0482012 for 217 Main Street. Someone here. Hello. Good evening. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Carlos Wheels. Carlos Wheels. That's the right one. Um, okay, and you are putting the sign that's on the sign box above the front door. Correct. Okay. Is and this sign is illuminated as well. That's not. It's going to be illuminated like it was. Correct. They actually we have spoke to them this week, and they do want it. They are going to put the permits for the electrical. Okay. So we we didn't have time to do that before the meeting, but they are going to go put the put the permits for the electrical permit. Okay, because we didn't have that on the application, right. so we'll add that to the application. And for. The material on the signs that are going to be on the east side of the door, I wanted to know what that was that's going to be. PVC, that's PVC? PVC as yeah. well. Anyone with any questions for comments? Okay, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. <clears throat> The, uh, the sign on the east side is not going to be illuminated. No, sir. It's only the one in top, in top of the door. And then it's it, it's uh, vinyl lettering that's being put. The on on it. Is yes, it? yes, sir. Okay. It does say that this color cannot be used as a color match. Can you tell me is it a uh, true red or do you have a, a chip? Yeah, we actually, the color match is according to the regulations okay. of the, uh, of the Approved city. Approved colors. Or and I spoke to Sonny, Petra, and we went back and forth, and we got everything straight out. With the colors, it can be exactly matched to your specifications. Okay. So we're Somerville red. Yes, correct. Mr. McSinney? Is there any reason that um, you have to have... Uh, Two signs that say high quality care nursing. The the, the sign over the door. Correct and next. And to then the, the first sign on the right hand side, the top of those four signs. More give it a little bit more visibility. I Pardon? guess that's that's how they wanted. They just to give it more visibility since they own the whole building. Uh, okay. It's mainly just for more 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 exposure. And plus, is is the top sign only says home care. Mm -hmm. a high quality and the right side is just for more visibility to let people know that they're there okay it's mostly a dupe the, the the sign over the door duplicates everything that's on the right hand sign is that correct yes sir except for the in-home nursing care mm -hmm. the smaller one says in-home nursing care correct yeah, 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 it also a says high quality there. nursing care right. and the phone number so it's a duplicate um, For a building of this character, uh, lighting, uh, back lighting is really inappropriate. Uh, this is a this is a early 1900 building, uh, and to have a uh, backlit sign is not not very appropriate. Um, uh, would you consider? If you're not going to take that sign down because it's a duplicate, would you consider putting gooseneck lamps over it? I will talk to my client. I'll let them know that if that's what is required to do, I guess that's what they'll, they'll have to do. Okay. But if it's possible to keep it that way, it'll be less expensive to do it that way. If, if not, if it has to be that way. Okay. Go along with what you say. Why would you want them to put the gooseneck sign right over the sign? Mm -hmm. Put it there, I guess. Yeah, that would make it even busier. Well, I think they could they could actually, I mean, the box looks sort of jammed in there between the, the window and the door as it is. And it would sure give it a little more air if that frame was gone and if you did have the goosenecks on there lighting it. 
I mean, beside looking more appropriate, I think it would look better, too. Yes. Madam President, I'll make a motion that we approve HDC 0482012 to install a sign above the door in the existing box, approximately that size. I'm not so sure they're going to use that box because I'm going to stipulate that they use gooseneck lights there. That's consistent with number eight on the guidelines, which is front lighting, goose, gooseneck style front lighting. And install a 72 by 42 inch sign on the east side of the door and they're going to advertise four businesses in that space and that will not be lit signs will have a somerville red background and monterey white text with black border do i have a second i'll second it Madam Secretary, I have a motion on the floor to approve HDC 0482012 as stated by <coughs> Councilman Les and seconded by Mr. Dyer. Would you call the roll, please? Councilman Les? Yes. Mr. Dyer? Yes. Mr. McSaney? No. Mr. DiLorenzo? Yes. Mr. Hayes? Yes. Chairwoman Blitz? Yes. And the motion carries. Could you? Understand about the gooseneck lamp. Basically, just the adding the yeah. Adding but, the lighting. Okay. If I could just comment, Miss, Miss Madam Chairperson. I'm not so sure you want that sign that big without the box there. If you put the sign flat up against the building with the goosenecks, it actually may look to build make the building look better. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be large goosenecks, and I think you already have electrical right there behind the. It's a matter of running up. It behind the brick, yes, sir. Right. Okay, so you might not want to have the sign as large as you've asked for. But can we keep it like that? Yeah, you could, but I'm just saying you want you want to make it look as as appealing as you can for your client on the building. Because you may decide to put a different face on the sign eventually. Was it? I think there's four rental units in there. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you very much for coming in. Agenda item five is HDC 0492012 for 320 Main Street. Hello. Mr. Gilfrich? Yes. And do you want to paint the east side of the building? Yes. White. I'm going to leave the front, the brick, um, due to the many different types of brick and cinder block on the east side is much more effective for us to just paint it. Is there going to be an edge? Would you make an edge on the side of the building, like the width of the brick, or would it be painted to the edge? We probably we probably would have at least a, a, an edge um, going from the front over to uh, transition into the paint. Do, uh, with the various types of brick, do you have any idea whether any of them are particularly prone to paint peeling from them or anything like that? You don't. You no. don't. No way. No. Uh, they're. they're um, just, they just seem to have, as they've replaced windows um, or we think maybe even doorways, they just purchased brick that they could get and not worried about matching it up as much. So, What's going to be done with the area that's boarded up where the drive through window was? Is that going to be bricked? That's going to be bricked, yes. Farming um, Madam Chairman, I may... I Overlooked the fact when I read this a few days ago, I was thinking it was uh, uh, not Revere Bank that was putting in the application. I thought it was the owner of the building. Um, and I'm an investor in Revere Bank, so I will excuse myself from this. Is there 
any particular paint that's made for exteriors that would not peel as much uh, or be prone to peeling? We're going to recuse all the way, Mr. McSean. We're going to recuse all the way. You make that, please. I've been told that they were going to plan on use, using our architects uh, spec out a, a latex paint. Um, I don't know specifically if there's ones that are better uh, or, or not. Um, I, we don't want to be repainting it right. periodically. I mean, that, that just becomes a, a, a huge maintenance issue. So um, I'm sure knowing our, our architect and how he's uh, specified things in the past, he, he will find something that's effective and stays on there. The lighting fixtures you're going to replace are those two that are on the front and inside. Of the, the, the onion, the onion style, yes. Yes, and it's going to be essentially the same style that's always there. Um, they're, they're similar to that. Um, it's hard to tell from the pictures. Um, I don't remember specifically there. It, it looks like it from the yeah, from the picture. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying to match something similar that's across the street where our, our branch is. You're going to be doing like brick repair on the front too. It's um, yes. There was there was a night depository there. Mm -hmm. What we may do is we may borrow some of the brick on the side to to match it up since we are leaving that unpainted. Let me just fix it. It appears they're going to use some kind of a uh, block filler primer on this. I think that's what they use on brick, so it soaks into the brick, and then they put the latex on top of that. So it doesn't, I mean, I look at the notes your architects made here. Usually everybody just sprays, puts paint on it, and it peels off next year. Um, the, they made a mess out of this building over the years. <laughs> Not you. No, 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 I understand. <laughs> I just, and I, there's an awful lot of, I, I assume you've got to do some repair to wood around the windows, is that correct? That's correct. It was all, it was all rotten. It was yes. literally falling off. Okay. Well, anything's going to be an improvement, I think, Madam Chair. I agree. So, <laughs> tough building. And that's all I have. Thank you. Madam Chair, I move approval of HDC 0492012 as presented. Second. Second. Oh, Madam Secretary, I have a motion on the floor to approve HDC 0492012 made by Mr. Dyer, seconded by Mr. Hayes. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Dyer? Yes. Mr. Hayes? Yes. Councilman Les? Yes. Mr. DiLorenzo? Yes. Chairwoman Blitz? Yes. And the motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Agenda item six is HDC 0502012 for 311 Laurel Avenue. I think Nancy's in trouble now. How are you? Your Nancy Graham. Do you want me to start introduce my project or you can. Okay. Go ahead and give us a description. So thank you. It's nice to see you all this evening. Um, you know we've finished our building recently, and this is the tail end of a construction grant that we have that we're sweeping a fence out of. So we hope that you'll approve. I've spent a lot of time researching fences and what would be the best quality with the least maintenance um, for Lars and that would fit in with the historic feel of the neighborhood, trying to preserve that. So this is what um, I came up with. If you wanted to hold it, I could bring it up to you. But Long Fence is going to be our project people 
they will uh, build 36 inch or posts into the ground, so three feet down to secure the fence. It'll be very sturdy. And then on the back, what we want to do is have a rolling gate so that it controls that people aren't using the alley to cut through our lots. So there'll be a rolling gate that will be secured back there. We won't be fencing the other side of the property. It was never fenced. And also, I did get a notarized letter from um, Rick and Joanne Wilson, our neighbor, that they agreed that the chain link fence that is there, which is on their property line, um, I agreed that Lars would pay to remove it so that aesthetically it looks pre prettier than a chain link fence. So they've consented and agreed to actually do that. So that's what I was hoping to do. How about there's several trees and shrubbery along that? What would happen to them? I was out there with a guy today who gave me the sample. We'll go, the shrubbery, if he rips up the fence, because some of it is growing into the um, fence. The fence is very old, and it's Mr. Wilson's fence. But um, we'll try to preserve what we can. But there is one section of the chain link fence that is actually growing into the tree. It seems that it can be pulled out um, with that there and things. But they'll have to deal, I don't know, or cut around the tree. But we're not planning on cutting anything down. And the one tree that sticks out, they're actually going to jut around it with the fence. I know there's some particularly nice shrubbery uh, towards the front uh, of, uh, of the house that appears also to somewhat be growing into the fence. I didn't yep. know whether or not. And that's, that's the truth. But honestly, uh, to get the fence out, it's a very old fence. Um, they understand and will try to preserve whatever we can and do the best, best that we can. I did have one question for you all because this was brought up to me by Sonny and I was trying to clarify today with long fence. So I understand it has to be 42 inches in the front, which is no problem. And then once it hits the building that it can be the six foot, six foot. is what we had, you had told me and that's fine. But what I was trying to determine is what are you technically calling the beginning of the building? Because there's the stairwell, which is the beginning of the building to the entrance. But then there's the gap of the stairwell that would go back a few feet more, and there's a little flower bed on the side, and then the big structure of the building actually begins. So are you calling those steps the beginning of the building, or a few feet back, or does it, does it matter? That's a zoning issue. Oh. <clears throat> I don't have the picture in front of me, but it wouldn't be where the steps are, it would be where the, the house is. Okay, so when you walk in that door, there's a pretty wide hallway, too. So would that hallway be the beginning, or when you go beyond that and it's physical building where our lobby begins? Um, I will have to see the picture of the market, but based on property standards, it will be the front part of the home or the building, not the stairwell of the hallway. Okay, I actually, I'd be okay taking it back there if you wanted that. Let me, Madam Chair, let me just, let me just, hold on. This, the hallway that she's talking about is actually an enclosed structure on the front of the building. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, that, that, I just want to make sure we understand what she's talking about. That is, in fact, part of the building now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand the stairway. Way, that's just some stairs that are there. Uh, but I, I assume what you, let me just ask you, Nancy, you want to start, you want to start the high part of the, the fence, I assume, even with, where the front of the building is, the front of the structure. Yes, and I'm trying to determine what you consider the front. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm sure that they're going to tell you that, but again, I, I'm thinking about this is not this is not an open porch or anything. This is an enclosed part of the structure. When you enter into that, you're actually entering into the building. Correct. Okay, so I, I'll let you all determine. That's your job, not okay. mine. Okay. But just so we understand so that she doesn't make a mistake. And, no problem. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. <clears throat> Would you repeat the part about in the back where you're going to, is, does the fence go the entire width of your property line in the back? Yes. Okay, then I don't have a question. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions or comments? Mr. Messina? Madam Chairman, uh, I move that we, uh, that we approve the uh, 
We approved HDC 50-2012 uh, with the addition uh, that they will remove the existing fence uh, uh, that belongs to the Wilsons, uh, and that's it. Do I have a second? No second that. Madam Secretary, I have a motion on the floor to approve HDC 0502012 as stated by Mr. McSini and seconded by Mr. DeLorenzo. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. McSini? Yes. Mr. DeLorenzo? Yes. Councilman Les? Yes. Mr. Dyer? Yes. Mr. Hayes? Yes. Chairwoman Blitz? Yes. And the motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having your application so well prepared. Thanks. I'm on a deadline, so thank you. Will you tell me, will you give me the answer to that tomorrow? How do I get that answer? Okay. Department of Planning. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you all. Have a nice thank night. you. Have a nice night. Be careful. I have a fence will trap. Yes. Agenda item seven is HDC 0522012 for 800 Main Street. Gentlemen would like to come up. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Right, right. Good evening, I'm Don Katsara. The reason that we are here tonight is because we had to make some changes <coughs> to the uh, plans for the building that we were going to, uh, or we are going to construct. Okay. And uh, so we've got our architect here, Joe Kelly, who will explain all the differences to you and what we've done. And it's basically the same with some minor changes. But, uh, we had to do that to uh, conserve a little bit on money. Okay. Okay. Joe, if anybody has questions for me, I'll be back here. <laughs> We've made some uh, minor footprint changes to the building. On the uh, uh, south end of the building, we actually brought the, the footprint in, shrunk the footprint down. Um, <clears throat> we created a, uh, a retaining wall to the... Uh, Excuse me one minute. Yes. Could, could you could you help us a little bit to where maybe we're all be, a little bit better organized? Uh, we have I think we have three. No, we have we have three sets of drawings, I suppose. Yeah. 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 The old and the new from the front. This is new. That's that's not. But this is the same elevation. This is. The this first is, one that they Oh, changes. that's the new, oh, this yeah. is, okay, and just the same thing with the side elevation. So, okay. Uh, so you don't have to eat yeah, all the so like, Okay, so we don't have to, we don't get that to be concerned with these large, we're only concerned with the, where are they? I lost mine. <laughs> okay, no, here they are. Okay. It makes them more easier. To so is this the only thing that we need to be looking at for, to see the changes? Uh, yes, it is. Um, like I said, there's there's some minor footprint changes to the building, but they're they're very minor. I, I do believe you have a site plan there, an architect. Yeah, I think so. No. Okay. So we have a we have a letter that describes the changes here somewhere. They have both sets of plans up there. They have. Okay. You'll see one stated 2012, That's the one stated right 2011. So you got it. Yeah, you got it. So this is one new of these right new and one old. All I did was put the picture of. That's just the front of this and the front of this, so you can compare new front of the building and new old of the building. So this is the same thing. And this new old. I'm sticking with the big word. Old, old that was approved. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, okay. okay. And it's the same on the side. So, so this is. Is this the site plan? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, is are these two? That's the same thing as this, but I did give you the top half so you could compare the front of the building and the back and facing the parking. So you'll have the back. So the one on the bottom, just like this. the one on the bottom, what's the first approved? Oh, okay. This is a, does it better, bigger. 
Thank you. Sorry. Sorry. Make sure we're on same, the same page. all on the same page. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, as I was saying, the uh, on the the south side of the building, which is on the lower sheet, the lower side of the sheet, you can see there's a, a, a minor footprint change um, at the building, and then on the uh, the west side of the building, there's a uh, an added retaining wall, and that that's essentially the the changes that occurred around the the site, around the footprint. The changes to the elevations. You understand those changes? What he was saying? Yes, that they're going to put this retaining wall. In. Okay, gotcha. Okay, all right. Okay. I think there are a little more changes than that. All right. Go ahead. Uh, the the remaining changes are on the actual the exterior of the building. Uh, we've actually changed up some of the finishes. Um, again, these were uh, some of them were cost saving measures, but um, we've removed the brick that where we were breaking up some of the windows, and now we'll just be using actual windows in, in all of the openings. Uh, we have uh, introduced a couple of uh, different CMU blocks, split face to break up some of the, uh, the uh, verticality of the elevations. And uh, the, the major exterior change is in the gables and in the, uh, the original pop-up on the building. We had a, a set of Claire Story windows up at the top, and we've, uh, we've removed those and in, in, in place put uh, dormers. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So between that and the um, and the actual finish changes, which we do have uh, available here, uh, those were the major changes that we've made to the elevation. It looks like you've eliminated uh, some of the stone siding on the east side of the building. Yes, we have. Parking lot side. Yes. Yes, on the on the on the south side uh, where we've actually brought the. Uh, footprint in, we've switched up the finishes from the uh, uh, the stone to uh, a split face masonry. I thought I read where all the all the brick had been removed. Am I wrong? Yes, all the all the brick is removed from the project. So what did you just say a second ago? Uh, split, masonry. Split, split face block, uh, CMU block. Yeah, I don't know what CMU. Do you have an example? Yes. Did you control it, please? Now, buddy. That's a simple question. I thought Donnie was going to bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> So in, in lieu of uh, brick, we've, we've elected to go with split face CMU, which is these masonry members here, maintaining the uh, uh, stone, which is a, a cast stone for water tables and uh, headers. And we've actually, uh, this is a new uh, selection of uh, stone. The uh, original selection, they changed up the uh, colors variations, and it, it's a lot of purple in it now, so it doesn't really work. Okay, on the right, my on this side, the the three stones plus the middle is is that a representation of part of the building, or those are just? Yes, yes. These these colors, um, this CMU here is actually in the large area, the large red area here which is the gymnasium, mm -hmm. the lighter. Okay, never mind. I think you mentioned something. There, there's not going to be anything that looks exactly like that entire rectangle on the building. Those oh, are different no, places. These are, yeah, these are yeah. different pieces. Yes, okay, okay yes. that's good. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that. okay, great. So, yeah, so instead of it looking pinkish, it'll be more red. It will be <laughs> brickish color. Yeah. Which one of those is going to be on this part? I don't like this. Is it going to be 
The example on the right is going to be at the very back part of this building. Yes, the sample on the, the far right. The grayish color. Yes, and then the darker gray is will be below the water table that is continuous around the building. So that'll be the unifying color to, to pull the building together. That'll be below the windows. Down here. Down here. Sure, so, yes. so we've got a stone back to the red foot face and then the gray foot yeah, face. That's right. That's that's correct. Correct. Whoever, whoever I'm looking at the back of the building. That's correct. Okay, all right. Not a great big change. I mean, it looks pretty much like the other building on the front, especially. At the front looks pretty. You know, the part facing Main Street. What's With respect to the mm -hmm. the south elevation. Yes. Um, was the 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 top of the eaves says metal building panels. Was that metal to begin with? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we, we, uh, we do have, um, going up the gable ends, mm -hmm. we'll transition from the uh, from this CMU and, and up, at the, up at the gables, up at the top of the building, we'll transition to a panel. Okay. With the, that's, that's the picture. With the Oh, okay. What the 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 reddish is the only looks like it's about a foot tall. Is it about the same size as that exactly? Well, up, up at as it climbs up the gable end, yes. Mm -hmm. um, we do have uh, on the. Um, I don't remember my elevations here, but uh, on the west elevation, we'll be we'll be cladding the the entire gymnasium with this. Right. Gotcha. This metal. The which elevation? This would be the, the, uh, west, the west elevation. The west elevation. West, yeah. The west elevation. Hard facing the apartment. It's the right. one, fourth page in. It says view from parking lot. No, it's, right. the, it's the other side. Oh, it's the other side. Okay. No, it's the west well, side. We're using that as, as mm. siding rather than to put you freaking. From the parking lot to the east side. Yeah. From the parking lot to the east side. From the parking lot to the west side. It almost creates like a warehouse effect. From the parking lot to the east side. You see that? It's pushed down toward the uh, oh. apartment building. Hmm. That's, that's oh, cool. the salvation area. Oh, and the apartment buildings are essentially got here. the same thing. So that's we're, we're looking at cladding the building with the, the metal panel. Yeah. That's the west side, right? We don't have that. Yes, oh, we don't have it. Well, we have it somewhere. Right here. You have it. I got it somewhere. Not in the color rendition. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Okay. Um, and what? what I'm, I'm, I'm back on the south elevation. What is? What is? What's the wall of that building? I mean, it kind of looks like brickish, but it's not. Yes, the, the south elevation essentially be these two blocks. The red, we won't have the red there, but it'll be the light gray. Okay. Above the water table. Okay. Below the water table will be the dark gray. Okay. And the roofing material on the new? The roofing material is metal standing seam roof, uh, much like we had before. Is there any are there plans with respect to the south elevation to have trees or large trees or yeah, something? It's, it's, it's pretty. You, you have a copy of the. Yeah, and the, um, on, the, on the architectural site plan, there which should be the second sheet in. Right. Hold on. Oh, okay. The the west side of the building will will have 
a lot of trees and plantings. Uh, the south side, uh, what we've got is we've got foundation plantings. Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. The uh, Yeah, the south side. Uh, in the corner, should be the southeast corner, we'll have foundation plantings to help, uh, to help break up the, the rigidity of the building. Okay. Uh, we, we don't have any actual plantings at the time planned for the southmost end, but there's a retaining wall there. Right. Chair, if you could ask one yes, more sir. question. Um, Just, I want to make sure that uh, on the back of the building, on the south side is where your uh, mechanicals are? That's correct. Okay, I want to make sure, and you're, and you're putting, um, putting a nice feature around that, but on this picture you show it sticking up over the picture. And I, and I and I know that you're not going to do that. That's right. That's right. That's a that's a full screen. Um, okay. It, it, it will be to cover the um, the equipment up there. Some you know some. Yeah. Somebody yeah. was getting a little overzealous with the rendering uh, yeah, program. Yeah, that's and, a pretty big mechanical up yeah. there. <laughs> All right. So the mechanicals essentially will be hidden from the street. That's correct. And the noise is going up. That's correct. Hopefully going straight up. That's correct. Okay. Um, and I, I, you're going to have a kitchen in this because you got a grease trap down there. Is that correct? You have a full kitchen eventually? That's eventually. Correct. That's for the daycare or wh whoever. That's right. Okay. So so you're going to have your grease interceptors. I guess it's a three-hole plan now. I, I saw something. I didn't believe what I saw recently. But anyways, where, where are you retaining the stormwater on the property? Is it going to be retained in cisterns, or is it, or have you gotten a permit to allow it to flow off the property? Uh, I believe it, I believe it's a uh, combination of those systems. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do not know at the moment where they're at with those approvals. I know that they were close. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 to be honest with you, I, at this point, I don't know how much of which system they're actually using. I do know that there is a cistern on site. Okay, because I know they've got to meet the new the, requirements. The plan, the, the, the plan <coughs> that uh, uh, Greenhorn and O'Mara submitted to the county right, okay, right. has been approved and, and it has adequate uh, for stormwater management. Yeah, well, they, they've just gotten a little more stricter than... Well, they, they went by the new guidelines that right. went into effect in May. The one in, the 50 percent to 100 percent. Okay, I just want to make sure that... Uh, because uh, this is going to be part of the record tonight. I want to make sure that everybody understands that we don't have any control over stormwater, unfortunately, yeah. yet. That's but right. We'll, soon. May, well, if, if the mayor, I think we've talked to, talked about it. But, again, we're in a sensitive area here being this close to the river. We just don't want it rolling down the street. They, okay. had, a, they had that moratorium where they, they weren't... Uh, yeah, they that's right. That's right, Donnie. Here, we couldn't get an approval... Okay. They couldn't look at it. All right. That's all I have, Madam Chair. Any other questions or comments? So I'm just trying to be, be clear on as far as from where the old the old view was. So these stairs will no longer be there That's at correct. all. There won't be any stairs on that. That's where correct. Previously, where it's just going to be uh, sidewalk. That's correct. Now there'll be a, a a running sidewalk with a step here and there to make up the grade differential, but it, it won't be the uh, endless run of stairs that we originally that picked it here with the. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and we have the rails there. Okay. So the, the, in that long stretch of concrete or sidewalk, there will, there will be one or more steps in there? Yes, I will. Uh, we have planned... Is that, is, that, is, that ADA, is that an ADA problem? It, it will not be an ADA problem. We've uh, actually accounted for the uh, accessibility up on the south side of the building, and you can get in. 
from there, uh, there's elevators and, and such to bring it from different floors. Is that, is that sidewalk on city land or your land? Our land. Yeah, so land your land. So right now, is there a sidewalk there now? No. There's no parking lot. Pardon? It's a parking lot. Right and now. Next to the building, Jim. That's, don't forget, this is going down next to the apartment building. The existing sidewalk I'm, up where the... I'm looking at this sidewalk right that's here. On, that's on their property. Because is there a sidewalk here now? There's no sidewalk no. there now. There is no, no. sidewalk. Parking lot. It's a parking lot. Oh, okay. We haven't, we haven't excavated yet or done any... any. <laughs> right. That's right. the back of the old, uh, the old hall. Right. Yes. That's Jason. So there's nothing there except the parking lot. Right. They're not changing the sidewalk on uh, St. Mary's Place. That's not changing any of the, the sidewalk. Isn't this, one, isn't this St. Mary's Place? No, that's no. the parking lot. That's where view, the from back, the, view from Main Street. That was the back of the Keesler building. No wonder I'm confused. They, remember, we, remember we pushed the building down yep. toward the apartment building. And there was so a sign. wasn't sitting right on the corner. You didn't have this big mass sitting on the corner. This is you down next to the apartment building. See, the address in changed. In the middle of that block is what it is. Yeah, the address changed too. The old hall was one Both of these, three. this is old and new. Both of these. This doesn't show the apartment building. On the no. The apartment building's here? No, it's on here, the here. Side, the west side. side. On the west side. And this is the east side. That's this correct. is St. Mary's Place. No, <coughs> the parking lot. Or that's where the, that's, the south side. that's where the building, the old hall used to be. The old wooden hall used to be there. This building is this is actually, Main Street? Yes, and this that's building is actually going on the parking lot. And then they're taking where the old hall was and making that the parking lot. Right, exactly. So what? that way the mass of the building wasn't sitting on the corner. Yep. So it's just back further from St. Yeah, Mary's yeah, Place. They pushed it back to, to, to adjacent it. to the property <clears throat> where the apartment house is. It's a little apartment. softer. I wish you'd stop talking about the apartment house because I'm interested in the other side. I'm interested in the <laughs> well, this side, standing. But this side, this is, it's all there. This side, which is in fact the east side. That's correct. That is where the Keesler wooden hall used to be. Okay, I okay. I that's understand the, so that. That's their property. Okay. Okay. Well, the so property comes. I mean, something comes out to the street. The only sidewalk that there is no is, sidewalk. There's on a sidewalk side. up on St. Mary's Place. That's what I'm asking about. And that's not changing. That's not the sidewalk. What that's you're not pointing the sidewalk. At is not, it's is not, not the sidewalk. No, there's a Park sidewalk lot. you're pointing at. Then there's a parking lot. Then there's a sidewalk <laughs> on St. Mary's. Gotcha. I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to drive by on the way. <laughs> I I to make, make sure Mike can speak the truth. I thought there was not a sidewalk yeah. there. <laughs> I actually like having the the windows that are not bricked in. Oh, yeah, that's a like significant thing. Yeah. That's a... At all. That's a that was, Bravo. that was one thing we changed, yes. And I think it looks less imposing mm -hmm. uh, in the new view. It really yeah. does. I, th I think it looks much better this way. And it's going to cost less money. That's always something. Just a little disappointed that the owner, stated owner, wasn't here. To Say that again. I'm mean, just a little uh, disappointed that stated owner wasn't here to present. Archbishop. Yeah. Archbishop. <laughs> 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 the <stated laughs> doesn't. He actually doesn't handle this. Bishop Nestow is, uh, is the one that really takes care of all of the uh, construction in and... and Things for the archdiocese.
Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to approve HDC 052-2012 um, as presented. Madam Secretary, of motion. I have, oh, I have a question. Sorry. That's all right. A question. When we approved this before, it was a conceptual plan, was it not? Mm -hmm. And is this a conceptual plan, or is this the this so that we yes, this 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 is the design? This is the design. Correct. Okay. Thank okay. you. Can I continue. <laughs> Madam Secretary, I have a motion on the floor to approve HDC 052-2012, made by Mr. Hayes and seconded by Mr. Dyer. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. Hayes? Yes. Mr. Dyer? Yes. Mr. McSini? Yes. Councilman Les? Yes. Mr. DiLorenzo? Yes. Chairwoman Blitz? Yes. And the motion carries. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looks wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Nice All choice the trouble. Of split yeah, I oh, think. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, I'm taking support. Yeah. Peanut gallery. Oh. I've lost my agenda. Here. I have it. I found it. Agenda item eight is HDC 051-2012. For 340 Laurel Avenue. As I understand, staff is going to be presenting for Ms. Yes, Debnam. Ms. Debnam couldn't be here, so um, she's putting the shed in the back of the property. I think she has a handicapped child that um, that's one reason she couldn't come here tonight. Um, that she needs additional storage for. Um, and from the way it appears, it's at the very back of her property. Thank you. Is that correct? Yes, it's that one. In a clay color. Yep. Gosh, that's There we go. Clay. Okay, there we go. Any questions or comments? Driving past, it didn't appear that this shed would be very visible from the front of the property at all. You would really have to be looking for it almost. Agree. Mr. McSinney. Madam Chair, I move that we approve HDC 51 2012 as presented. Second it. Madam Secretary, I have a motion on the floor to approve HDC 051-2012, made by Mr. McSini and seconded by Mr. DeLorenzo. Would you call the roll, please? Mr. McSini? Yes. Mr. DeLorenzo? Yes. Councilman Les? Yes. Mr. Dyer? Yes. Mr. Hayes? Yes. Chairwoman Blitz? Yes. And the motion carries. Agenda number nine is two staff. Questions or comments about that? No? Okay. Any new business? Yes, sir, Mr. Mercini. New business? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Madam Chairman, uh, I understand Mr. Ertle called you, Sonny, about work on a house next to his. Uh, 1103 maybe? Yes, he called today. And we sent somebody up to uh, see what they're doing. They did have a fire on the porch, and they were told to, um, um, you know, put it back the way it was. So um, we were going up to see if that was the case. If not, they were going to put a stop work order on it. But I didn't get a chance to talk to the code enforcement officers before Okay. I, I think, but I'm not sure. I talked to Mr. Ertle. He called me. And uh, he, from the, the impression I got from him is that the, is that the material that they're replacing the porch with is uh, treated, treated lumber. lumber, yeah, which is probably inappropriate to the house. I pulled a picture of the house. I saw that the, it had some decorative spindles and yes. 
Yeah. I think I think they're all gone too. Uh, what did he do? Just rip them off, Jim? I, I think so. Know. Yeah, I'm not. I. I'm sure Chris knows. Oh, he does. But I mean, you know, didn't have a long conversation with him. And then uh, one other item. Mm -hmm. um, 401 Main Street, uh, the uh, first floor, which had been a, I don't know what it had been, but now somebody moved from upstairs, downstairs, and I don't know whether you all can picture the window. The, it's a huge window with like four, it must have six windows in it now, or it has six, uh, and they've got signs almost as big as the windows in each of the panels. The What's the address, Mr. McSaney? 401. 401. Was that Mercurio? Yes. Mercurio's building. Yep. Uh, I'm I told that gentleman came in for um, a use and occupancy, uh -huh. and um, then we were speaking about his signage when he gets ready to do it, and um, I told him that those signs in the window had to come out of there. Um, but that's been over a week. He apparently didn't listen to you. No, he didn't. You need to he carry a big stick. He was the website builder. He was upstairs. Is he the website builder? I'm not sure who he is. And it's something about open bo or boxes or some something. Okay. And is Mark the new owner or the parents still own it? Vincent's wife still Parents still own it. They do everything in the this estate name. Right. It's a son of theirs. Okay. Huh? Oh, a son of his? Is, that's yeah, the, this that's is the tenant? Material. This is not Vince. Vince and his wife own it. Yeah, Barbara I know. Ballinger right. and, uh, I know that. and Vince. And this is a son that owns it that is running? Well, he's, he's no. Apparently, no, no. I think it's Mark Mercurio is probably managing the property. Right. right. Both the brothers come in. Oh, when they come in, sometimes they're together. Uh, Mark is I haven't met either one. Interesting. But we're already on that. You notice the signs. What is? Are, are you going to contact him again, find out what's going on, or have them take the signs down? Okay. I noticed that. I'll contact Mark. He'll see that it's done instead of the tenant because. Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm confused. Is Mark the tenant on the first floor? No. Mark. No, he's oh. managing the, the property. Oh, the property okay. Owner. Oh, okay. But he doesn't have a place of business there. No. Oh, okay. No. I, I thought. He's managing the property. Yeah, I got that. Okay, I was confused, easily confused. Not you easy. sure there's a sidewalk there? There's no sidewalk. That's the parking lot. In front of, in front of the Curios building? You want to interview the building? Said. That used to be Dr. Gibbons' place before they put the front on it. Give it up, Jim. It's Dr. Pfeiffer's doing it. there in 1920. Then he put the addition on the front. Wow. After right. he moved out of our house because his wife thought it was haunted. <laughs> My grandmother lived in that house. That's right. Right across the street from uh, Dr. McSini, he had a dentist across the street. We have the light fixture off the porch. Off the front of that house before they put the addition on the back. See, there's a lot of history in there, Joe. There is. It's so nice to learn about the history. Everybody knew. I noticed that there we have another flashing open sign at 338 Main. And I did notice that the one at the Quick Mart is no longer flashing. So thank you very much. Oh. You turned off the flashing. Oh yeah. Also, yeah. Since we're yeah, Quick Mart, um, they have they're they're proliferating signs also. They are growing. Yeah. <laughs> they've got more. Yeah. It was pretty clean to begin with, and now they've got some pretty big signs. Three fifty seven <coughs> has a great big open sign. Uh, the one right next to Napa. It's huge in the window. I don't. Yep. Yep. Both, both sides. You know, just the first, just the, the, the side near you all. Yes. Right? Yeah. The, the business so, closest the side. to us. Yeah. Yep. So Have we determined if they're signs now? If they're considered signs, or do we have a, um, a size requirement, a maximum or minimum on those open signs? Oh, the open signs. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, what I'm talking uh, about. It was a new open uh, sign uh, at 357 and then the flashing one at 338. I'm surprised with the flashing because we sent um, letters to all of those with the flashing signs. And for one week, because I went one Friday night, I made a point to ride down Main Street and nothing was flashing. So I we'll just have to today, address it again. My way back from the post office, and, and that's how it's 338. I was like, 
Okay. Oh, yeah. They, 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 uh, the, During the day. Um, right across from PNC, and the, the old furniture store is also a flashing open sign. I didn't notice that's, that. That's multiple flashing. It's flash, 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 then Go O, around. P, E, <laughs> and I mean, it looks like cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> Are we finished with Mr. McSinney's new business? Or are we still? It's my. Or is it my turn? The uh, everybody knows the American women's championship game doesn't start for a half hour. I'm going to keep you here for another two hours. <laughs> I, I was just going to say that everybody knows the American Bank building's coming down, uh, but most importantly, I think from uh, from uh, Carl's shop is that the Mango Grill is going over to uh, Indian uh, near near Lido's. I think they they were. Yeah. yeah, they they actually had leased the place, and then it sort of slipped out, and I, I don't know what was going on over there with the guy that's vacating. But the other thing is that the um, is Irene's actually moved down to the buffet in front of uh, Home Depot. I guess that's I think that's where they're moving. Is that correct? In front of Home Depot, in front of the sports sports fit, they stayed in Laurel. They were able to stay in Laurel. They did not get the building. She was packing on uh, Saturday. I was going to stop by there and ask her. I'm not sure what I relocated to. Yeah, I think that, uh, does that sound right, Sonny? The mango, I thought, was going down. Mango's in going to India, India Gate down at uh, near Lido's. Okay. Then the other vacant building that had a full kitchen in it, where it wasn't going to cost uh, Irene. See, Irene's advantage when they moved into that building, they had the full kitchen from when the, the chicken place was there. Right. It was my understanding she was moving down in front of Sports Fit, the old Heckinger property right. home, because that's been vacant, but that's got a full kitchen. They didn't take the kitchen out. But maybe they didn't move there. I assume that's where they moved. But that, I think that was good news that we were able to, Carl's shop was able to find a place. I know he move. was working closely with them to try and get them another place because they're both doing very well. Yeah, and the, adva and the advantage of mangoes going to where they went, see, they have a beer and wine license. And they're able to take that with them there. Uh, or if they moved in some places, they'd be too close to the church. And that brings me to my last issue. I don't know what's happened to that bill in Annapolis. But, you know, there's a bill pending that would allow churches to sign off. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, yeah. But I think it got lost in the shuffle with all the arguing going on. I'm, I'm going to find out tomorrow. Oh, my. With all the, excuse me, the tight jaw discussion that's been going on with the taxes what to tax and what not to tax. Um, I, you know, I think that's what actually happened to the Prince George County bag bill. Um, if you come to my house, we had a split feeling on that. You know, my wife at one end of the table and myself at the other end of the table. But the, but the fact is, if you go down in the waterways, the largest polluter of the waterways right now is the plastic that flies into the waterways, gets caught in the trees, caught in the bushes, it yep. floats downstream. It doesn't deteriorate. It's not like a paper bag that will deteriorate, deteriorate over time and fall apart. So hopefully next year. Mary Lehman did a pretty good job, and so did Barbara, and it got killed by my friend. But anyways, but I, I, the, the, hopefully Walgreens will be up soon. I understand they're going to close the CVS in the, parking, in the uh, shopping center. That's oh. supposed to close. That makes sense. Huh? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and hopefully, uh, cross your fingers, and hopefully Mr. Gibbons will be able to come to some understanding with Burlington Coat Factory and get going over there. Oh, that hadn't been, that, that's, that's the stick in the mud, huh? All I can say is pretty much what the paper has said is he reached agreement with uh, Macy's. That's why they had their going out of business sale and closed. Right. And then our friends at Burlington jumped up. And they've got all those cross-lease easements about parking. I mean, you can't tear the deck down unless they approve. Mm -hmm. And I think it boils down to some of this, which it usually does. So we'll see what happens because uh, I think the, uh, from my perspective, I think my council members on the council with me and I are getting pretty, I think the right word is peeved. That's a nice word. Peeved. How about demolition by neglect? Well, Homet, Homet, the, Homet, the wrecking ball. <laughs> there's several ways to skin a cat, and I'm not so sure Burlington would be happy the way we might pursue. <clears throat> but anyways, so again, I think there's some good things happening. 
I mean, I'm impressed with uh, their friends at Revere. They're going to spend some money on that building, maintain it for a while, and we'll see what happens in a couple of years. That is a huge building. Huh? I walked down there. It's today. a very that large building. A large building. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Mc, uh, I was down with Mr. Frederick on uh, Saturday afternoon. I was supposed to go down to the river and clean up Saturday morning. I just, I, it's one of those days where I just didn't, couldn't get going. My knees wouldn't get going, but I did go down and walk through his new building. The showroom is actually going to be in that building. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, he's going to tear part of the lower building down, not the old building, but the new part of the building. And he will maintain the old building on the property. So that's pretty impressive. He's done some impressive things up there in the new building. Mm -hmm. Have you been up there? Mm -hmm. Go up there every Friday. Mm -hmm. What do you have, a walk-through with him? You, you're, you're well, new? he's not. He's most not of the time there. he's not there. He but he, he is there sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an interesting uh, water trap in the middle of the floor. Yep. They've never done anything like that in the county, so the inspector didn't told me I had to have a water test. He said, hold on a minute. Usually they're just concrete. He's actually put a fiberglass liner in it. Uh, so I think some good things are happening around Laurel. And when we get Sunny to take care of the flashing signs, they'll be yeah. even better. I think we ought to train her and let her do inspections. She can go down and issue a citation. What do you think, Sonny? I know, I know the staff in Carl's shop would appreciate any help you can give them. We'll take care of the signs. Oh, no, she's got to be trained so we can let her sign off. <laughs> that's right. Well, that, 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 thank you, Madam Chair. For, for thank that, you uh, very much. A little bit of time. Any other new business? I was a witness to the attempted robbery at PNC the other day. Oh, no. <laughs> End of story. No, 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 no. He, he's, the guy ran by him. The guy ran by him, and he, and it just missed him. He could have stuck his arm out and grabbed him. Pretty could close, have. if he'd known. <laughs> we need the old days when the alarm, when the bell went off in the bank, because I there think he would have clotheslined him. <laughs> well, thank God nobody got hurt. More important, oh, they didn't get excuse any money. me, excuse me, an update. What? The same guy, either the same day or. Uh, Today's Tuesday, or yesterday, either the same day, which is last Friday, or yesterday, ro successfully robbed a bank in Northern Virginia. Did they get the vo tag number off the Volvo this time? Don't know. They wouldn't tell us if they did, Jim. Yeah, probably not. But anyways, but thank God nobody got hurt. We've been very lucky in Laurel that nobody's gotten hurt. People are, people are doing some strange things. Yes. That being said, there's no more business. I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you. Who's going